viewers and welcome again to Silly Sid 1, 2, 3. I finally got one. This is a 90s Sibo Automatic X1. And this was my Christmas Prezi that I unwrapped Christmas morning, uh, Christmas afternoon um, from my one of my best mates. I was absolutely overjoyed when I saw that. I've always wanted a SIBO after finding out their capabilities and what they can do. And remember, it's a 90s machine. I think the very first ones were 1991. So I will check the serial number to find out what exact date uh, this one is. But um, this is German technology, as we all know, German technology is really up there. And 1991, they made this, the very first. Uh, domestic SIBO because before that they were commercial and industrial. Meanwhile in England we were making turbo powers um, with horrible plastics. So yes I'm absolutely overjoyed to finally own a SIBO. Um, it's not um, that I wanted a new SIBO X7 or an X5 or an X4. I just wanted a SIBO and to be fair I much prefer the X1 because it's still kind of vintage. Really pleased to own one, as you all know, the capabilities of these machines. Um, but if you don't, then I will show you. Okay, so we've got you zoomed in on the front of the machine. Now there are three, uh, four lights that shine up on this machine. Um, as we all know, these are automatic, so the height adjuster is completely automatic and adjusts to the, the level of your carpet. So when the machine is in upright mode, it will um, just stay in upright mode until you tilt this back and the downlight will shine and it will lower itself according to the height of your carpet. Um, if it hits a rug or anything higher, it will adjust itself and go up that light will shine um, and then of course when you put it back up right to put uh, you know to turn it off it will go all the way up to right raise the uh, roller bar off the floor now these two are very clever these are the safety features of this machine if this were to uh, if uh, a child left a, a, um, a towel on the floor and you didn't see it and, and you ran it over it will get entangled into the brush, it would stop the brush bar turning and the machine will shut off very quickly and that would flash red. The other great thing is it's got a bag full or clog indicator. That basically means that there's no more suction coming through and it would just shut the machine off flash red, i.e. the bag is full or there's a blockage so if you hold on to the if you put your hand over the uh, hose and leave it there it will eventually shut off so that's that the other um, very great thing to point out on these SIBOs is the filter now SIBO bag now I do believe these are the only ones that have this type of filter it's very clever this is a long filter as you can see. Now the reason for this is this is where the uh, motor pulls the suction from. So as stuff comes into the bag, this is the filter that sucks it up. Now as the bag fills, usually a lot of vacuum cleaners lose suction because they can't pull through the dirt. However, because this is like that, as it comes up, there's still suction here until it gets right to the very top full bag then it cuts off because the filter no longer is sucking through. I like this feature that that is absolutely fantastic. Brilliantly thought off by SIBO. Uh, love it. And uh, we've also got I say we've got a brand new SIBO bag, brand new filter, brand new pre motor filter and brand new um, uh, the other filter. I can't remember the name. The other clever thing to note is a lot of vacuum cleaners you have to take the hole underneath off to get the brush bar out 
on this. It's a simple press of the button at the top here that says, well, has a picture of the brush bar. You press that, you grab it, and you just pull it out. And this is a brand new brush bar, a SIBO. And to put it back in, you simply put it back in, it will get in there. As far as it'll go. And just pop away. Just pop it back on. There we go. Do an uh, interesting thing to note is if a cable break, if the cable breaks or um, a snag or snap or anything like that, it is such an easy replacement. And what you do, you simply unravel that. Take that off, and this is what you do on this machine. Pull this lever up, and this will simply just come out, and you just replace this part. When you get the new part, you simply put it back in, you put the clip down, hold it in place, and then you put the cable back round. So, yeah, as you can see, very clever machine. Um, so, what we're going to do for you guys, especially myself. We're going to do a demo and see what it can do. Absolutely wow! What a machine! You switch it on and immediately when the brush bar goes down it propels itself, you can feel its pull. It really did massage the carpet really well, it agitated it absolutely tremendously. There was no struggling, no loss of suction. What a beautiful machine and it's really quiet, really quiet and it sounds beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, I'm, I'm so pleased um, to finally own a SIBO, especially an X1. I really can't thank my best mate enough. Um, he knows how grateful I am. <laughs> it might not be the latest SIBOs, but I've got a SIBO. That's enough for me. I really hope you've enjoyed this review and demo. Um, 
just just hope that this video has been very informative if you haven't seen them or maybe the first time you've ever seen this ebo perhaps not uh, maybe all of you are thinking ah oh, we've seen this ebo we know what they do uh, it's just the first time i've i've owned one so i thought i'd just showcase it so like subscribe and enjoy my videos thanks for watching and we'll see you soon